thank you for this. Um, we we had a we had a nice discussion, um, and I think one of the important things first was um, the notion that students must be equipped um, with a tech approach, um, because um, there is also the the students are so focused, and there's the there's the combination of dropout and not getting to classes. So, um, so, so the question then came about is that what environment are we creating um, uh, for students to grow um, and have the necessary attributes um, so that when they um, do go into um, broader society, they can to some extent impact on that society. Um, I think that was the first, and then came the issue of um, co-curriculum uh, transcripts and um, how we are doing that at the moment, and that there is, um, in my view, not sufficient focus on that. So um, we then also use some examples of how um, CHS was doing some things, but and the main focus in terms of co-curriculum where there's a provision of skills. So how the question I think then came about is that how do we formalize this and um, develop a record um, into the students' uh, uh, um, curriculum? Um, and so it is there, it exists, but how can we do this better? Um, because um, just to create an opportunity uh, uh, for students to grow and, 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 and develop. And I then think, um, so as, is there a better way yeah, to formalize it? So the other thing that also then uh, uh, came from that was the attributes as such. Um, there is an emphasis largely on hard skills. Very little, if none, is on the soft skills. Um, for example, um, the focus on empathy, on selflessness, um, which speaks to being a uh, caring citizen. Um, we, we need to create spaces for that. Um, then the question then came about um, the existing attributes, the university's graduate attributes. Um, I think there was an overwhelming sentiment that this is outdated um, and it needs to be revisited because it doesn't really speak to the issue of um, complexities and the challenges um, that we have around this ever-changing environment that we find ourselves. So how do we then relate those um, graduate attributes to the need of um, our society as such? Um, then the other issue that also came about was um, apart from just listing these attributes um, as a checklist, or tick list. What are the we 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 seem to fail to look at the process as as to how we produce these attributes. So maybe there should be um, a critical consciousness um, both ways uh, to look at what are the tools to become more compassionate. Um, instead of just saying, be compassionate. Um, so how, how and, and, and again, I'm sorry, I'm being biased here, but uh, I think there's a number of applications that is slightly more embedded because of the nature of the programs in CHS that can maybe be tapped and, 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 and looked at for, us to, to understand this better, to see how it's developed. And then um, there was the one student, Sanako, sorry, Sanako, that I'm now using your name, 
um, but she raised a, a very, very important point. Um, it's a question of students don't even know graduate attributes exist. Um, it was only later on in the student's development that the student became aware of such a concept of graduate attributes. So then this then begs the question, when should we be introducing this? Um, should it be during the early stages of orientation that this needs to be introduced um, for it to have a necessary impact? But then it was also said um, that we need not, it, it, it should be said that we need not, uh, uh, um, just, just, just to check, can everybody hear me? Yes, yes we can, sir. Sorry, we can. can. Sorry, 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 I was just worried that um, okay. because of the silence. So, so, <laughs> Orientation should not only, it can be a start point, but then some of the other uh, participants also then said, if we're going to look at the, um, at the systems thinking model that we can apply, why can't we then embed this then also through the, as a process of a scaffolding approach for students to be introduced and developed into uh, uh, the whole notion of graduate attributes, um, rather than it being a, a, a list of uh, uh, um, concepts um, that needs to be ticked off at the end of the day. I hope that I did justice to that uh, session.